Hello, you beautiful people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Good morning, Saya. Good morning, Sazu. <laughs> Checking in with the morning report. <laughs> Fire away. It's Friday. I'm. I mean, it's Thursday. Tomorrow, Friday. Wow. And what is what's what's the this is July the what the eighth? And how many more days we got left? Let's see seven. It's three sevens twenty one. We got another what? Twenty? We got another what? Uh, Twenty-two days. Sheesh! <laughs> Time flies. But anyway, let's do this. We're talking about Starfield here today. So, uh, you know, a Fallout uh, composer, Ainan Zer. You know, he's um, he's gonna who who created who worked on uh, Dragon Age and uh, Fallout. He will be joining the Starfield uh, team over at Bethesda, and uh, he'll be helping out on the project listen to this it says here uh, Fallout composer is working on Starfield Dragon Age and uh, and Fallout composer composer <laughs> Ainan Zer confirmed that he will be putting together the score for Bethesda's upcoming sci-fi epic Starfield E3 2021 and the Summer Game Fest have come and gone but excitement for Bethesda Starfield has continued to grow a variety of exciting new information about the sci-fi action adventure game was shared both during the Xbox game showcase for E3 2021 after and afterwards. <laughs> it was enough for a deluge of new detail that some exciting Starfield news initially slipped by. One big example is the re revelation of Starfield composer who is a familiar face known for his work and the Dragon Age and Fallout franchise. <laughs> Blue Jays outside making noise. Anyway, bought six of them. <laughs> anyway, in the in mid June, composer Ainan Zer confirmed on his official webpage that he would be working with Bethesda once again as a part of the Starfield team. As a as a part of the prepared statement, Zer described his composition effort on um, Starfield as having a unique classical sci-fi direction. He then pointed fans towards the Starfield teaser trailer shared during the Xbox Game Showcase, which featured a brief example of work he's done. <laughs> Zer was also extremely complimentary towards the team at Bethesda. He said that he has admiration and appreciation towards Todd Howard's Bethesda audio director Mark Lamper and the entirety of Bethesda for entrusting scoring of Starfield to him. Zer goes so at, Zer goes so far as calling the opportunity an honor. Zer is very excited about the project and is approaching his work with as much respect and excitement as he has the dozens of games he's worked on prior. They talking about Fallout and um, talking about Fallout and uh, uh, Dragon Age. You know, so um, so basically, Zer, you know, work, got got prior uh, gaming development development experience, and he will um, be helping out the the team on uh, the Bethesda team on uh, Starfield. So you know, you know, um, that's gonna be good for the team because he'll bring his expertise and skills and and our knowledge to the to the table you know to help the team out so to give to, to make the game even be better you know so um starfield right now is a um it's a huge project and um <laughs> um you know this game ain't gonna be finished anytime soon so so these you know the, the bethesda the, the entire gaming studio at bethesda they got their they got their hands full with this game a lot to look forward to when it comes to Starfield, you know. You know, because they're trying to take gaming to the next level with this game. You know, so based on the trailer that you've seen, you know that the, the game looks looks very promising. Anyway, you know, there's two trailers in this article, and I'm gonna leave those links in the description box. <laughs> um, but other than that, man, um, Starfield looks very, very promising. You know, and um, you know, these developers, they're taking their time. You know, I mean. They seen they seen the mistakes that certain studios have made, you know. Whether it's EA with Anthem and Star Wars, whether it's uh, uh, 
uh, CD Projekt Red with uh, Cyberpunk. You know, they, I mean, you know, Bethesda was paying attention, you know. Because, like, wh whenever a big game comes out, you know, all the gaming studios, they pay attention to see how the game is going to do. And they take, they, take, they take points, you know, they take note, you know, of what to do and what to do and what not to do when it comes to big, uh, big AAA games. So, all the gaming studios, you know, they all work. They all work as one unit to make the gaming industry better. But they all, but they are all learning from e learning from each other, you know. So, a lot of developers, even though they're not working on Starfield, they're looking forward to this game, you know. You know to see what to see what Todd Howard is bringing to the table. So, a lot of developers are keeping, even though they're working on their own separate projects, they're looking forward to this game, you know. So and so and so are the gamers too. So. Starfield is going to be a huge game when it comes out, you know, so it's only a matter of when that that time when that when that time happens But right now as far as the game being done and being released Forget it. They, they got they got a lot of work to do on this game. So um, You know, you know, Bethesda got their their work cut out for them. So Other than that man, um, you know, I'm gonna keep you guys posted on um, On Starfield that you know what, what's going on and I will leave a link in the description box. But nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Or Dark Side. Go. Peace. Oh.